Hello everyone, Firemac here with World of Horror, and we're back. We're in the middle of, well, we just started it. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. Kana is here. I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me. If I try to do it myself, please? <laughs> the cadence on that was very, very off. Alright, so, that word. Just investigate it twice. Well, that, that wants me to investigate the apartments. Oh, wait, that has nothing to do with this. Okay, well, let's just do this. I feel like if I... If I go to the seaside and do that twice, I feel like I'm already here. Costume to enter. Well, I don't have any fun, so let's just investigate seaside real fast. So, with my ally, Kana, Kana, something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. Ooh, it's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. Alright, do it one more time so I can finish this quest. Oh, hello, face. Spooky face. You can't shake the feeling that those small dock buildings hide some terrible secrets. You may be crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. So I just. All that was just. I just lost reason for that. Okay, whatever. Let's just go here. Not wa wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing at the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Hello, twisted corpse. So if I have an ally, can they help me in the fight? Wait, can... Why is everything grayed out? Oh man, I should have just freaking... I have to run. Because I can't do anything. Ask your ally to distract enemy. It's successful. Faster combat action for. It failed. Wait, hold on. Ah, damn it! Stay on the thing. It failed to lose a random ally. Oh. I only have one ally though. <laughs> so let's maybe not do that. Look for an improvised weapon. I guess I can do that. Lower multiplier means the actions will take less time. Bow part of a ritual. Most combat rituals are. Wait, damn it! Oh my god. Five bow bows and claps. If you don't get it right, you'll be provided a hint. What? I'm so confused. That was not something I, I could do before. Well, all right. Well, let's try clapping and and, and a bow. Pray. Ah. Twist a corpse, twist his head in a natural way. Your ritual's too short to have an effect. He bites me. Mm. 
I don't know what to do. I might have to... The invisible whip prevents you from running the encounter. So, okay, so it's... The effect is 100% still there. That's great. So I gotta figure out what the heck to do if I can't do any physical damage. I can't run. Am I just screwed? Uh, sever their ties to the world. Oh. Oh, crap. Alright, hold on. Back up. Let's do that. Launch. So, okay. That did nothing. Uh. Oh, what's this? Well, I still can't do anything. So just stick with the spiritual stuff, I guess. Oh, this takes a hundred now? Wait, what? Hold on. Alright, well, let's... Okay. Alright, let's do it. Stop biting me. So I just do that twice then. Alright, so I guess I'm okay. Now that I got a bottle. Get out of here. Cool! Alright. Eight experience. Sweet. So what were you doing during all that, huh? Dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. So you... What were you... Mm. So, I'm just baffled that Kana didn't do anything while all that was happening. <laughs> Ugh, alright. Dude's working at school, right? We could bring him to his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he's just back in his classes again next week. Alright, so I guess we're going to school. Oh, I can recruit allies. Let's do that. Um, share a creepy story. Uh, let's ask you to join. It sounds strange, but I believe you. Let's get a dude. Give me a break. Kaede is taking their pen apart and putting it back together over and over. They seem relaxed. Sheer creepy story. It's just a story, right? Okay, now ask you. I don't think I have enough room, right? Observe. Chargers staring in the clouds. They look like... They look fine. It's just a creepy story, right? Forced to help? <laughs> so I just threaten you? Shows you a scream for help. <laughs> okay, let's not do that. <laughs> Alright. Let's investigate. So now we got a team. Why is there a naked person? Oh, okay, it's a sculpture. This room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks scanning on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. We'll check out the masks. One well, mask looks similar to the design you once saw in an occult book. You decide to take it with you. Oh, I got a demon mask. Oh, hello. It's armor! Negative for max stamina. Ha. Huh. That doesn't seem like a good item. What's this? Trade in. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, hold on, can I take that off? Uh... Yeah, I don't know if I want to... That kind of seems like a bad idea. Let's... I'm trying that away. I need funds anyway. Alright. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You find a few jars. All filled with weird eel fish. Despite your protest, Kana decides to take one jar home. Oh no. Damn it, Kana. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can they sip their soda so calmly, staring at the, this creepy creature? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, hold on. Can I go downtown real fast? I want an item. Or not. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Oh, okay, let's just repeat. Well, I was hoping to find a weapon, because last time we had the steak knife. All right, let's just go to the apartments. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up shouts a deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Mm. Call the police, man. Screw that. The man escapes when he hears the police siren, but before he goes, he draws an unfamiliar stone built in blood on your front door. Yeah. I've seen him burning the notes. Is the eel even alive? Yeah, I don't know. Our doom keeps going up. We might not make it, man. Mr. Triple Zero, your neighbor, is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. Let him come up with his own stuff. What's that picture? Oh boy. You catch a glimpse of the painted thing. Suddenly you feel very weak and excuse yourself to leave. Something truly evil has you in its grasp. That's it's all, that's in all caps. That's not a good thing, huh? Count was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try to cipher the notes. Uh huh. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea at the beginning. Well, of course, it's not a good idea. Jeez. Alright. Hey, so who, is that kind of... You prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. I guess I'm a smoker, because I'm smoking here. You're very tired, so maybe an ice cold water is a good idea. Well, if we're dealing with eels... Let's go with... Let's go with hot bath. It's so vain that you spent an extra hour in it. God damn it. <laughs> There's something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment. I wonder what he's hiding there. You shrug noncommittally. You wish you could throw the damn jar into the trash. Kinda has been a bad influence, man. What is that? The waves wiggly wash in the on the shore, you take a deep breath of fresh sea air clears your head. Well, that's nice. Thinking about how stupid it is of Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment, you go to sleep. I mean, yeah. It's very true. So now we go to school. Wait, why is it suddenly so dark outside? You stand by the window to take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, coating everything in an oily vapor. 
Let's, uh, let's run from this window, eh? Oh no, my dexterity check failed. You run from the window, faint whispers from coming from the smog self will haunt you for weeks. Great. This is all blood. Target location. Investigate neighbor's apartment. Has been missing. Oh no, Kana's totally dead. You decide to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. Oh, my reason's looking pretty low. That's not good. Well, those seals are going crazy. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars filled with eels fleeing around restlessly. Where the hell's Kana? She's probably dead. I can just... Oh, I don't want to escape yet. I don't want to leave her dead. She's probably in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the swollen body of your neighbor's riding away inside the putrid murky water. Both his eyes are missing with countless tiny blood trails leading from them in all directions. Oh, great. Oh, great. There she is. I found the neighbor, but with his eye burst, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye. Oh, you're screwed. What? Negative three reason if I do that? Well, my reason's already very low. I don't want to do that. The eel's inside of you. Ugh. Yeah, my reason's way too low for that. So we're gonna go to the hospital. You rush to the hospital, Kana, getting a lot of attention with horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater. <clears throat> Excuse me. Getting a lot of attention with horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater. You collapse on a chair in a waiting area. Well, this makes me feel like I have other options I could be doing. Fall asleep. When you wake up, it's already night. Trying to ask about your friend, you are met with weird reactions, as if she never existed. Oh, great. You rush to the operating theater yourself, but are start stopped by armed policemen. Whatever happened, the doctors must have been too late to help. Yeah, yeah, I knew she was going to die. You still process the events of the previous night. A corpse eating eels that lay their, their eggs in the eyes. Sitting before your apartment building... You watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. You wonder if you will ever hear from your friend again. Eerie episode of the Evolving Eels ending B. Rewards for solving this mystery. Knowledge is key, plus 30 experience through investigation. Yay, less... Okay. Man, I only got plus one reason stamina. That's not good. I've run into smog. Hmm. 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 Okay. A friendly dog has appeared last night. You'll have, you will have to find a new place to buy equipment. No! I didn't get my weapon yet. Not the doggy. Oh. Well. Let's go to our home. What is up with this? That's gonna bust open at some point, isn't it? That looks inappropriate. Well... Definitely want to take a bath. We need... We need our reason back. So badly. Let's watch TV. Once a year, a ramen shop appears where there once... 
Once a year, a ramen shop appears where there was once an alleyway. The ramen sold inside is made from its former patrons, but can cure any health problem. Well, it looks like something Kana needed. Oh. I didn't know I could call. Oh god, I feel a sneeze coming on. So I was like, oh no, that means something's gonna happen in my home at some point. They gain new level, press the flashing buttons. You found new item, library notes? Gain the random spell, lose to your reason. Legend from the Prefecture Eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpse into a lake full of eels. Gross. Gross, gross. Super gross. Alright, well, let's level up. Close that. I want to level up. Let me level up! Oh my god. Let me level up. Choose one perk and one stat upgrade. Uh, I don't know what these do. Um, tune with the natural life rhythm. I don't know, I guess luck. I want more strength. Alright, cool. Alright, well, that will do it for this episode, everyone. Um, I, I, I guess I'm gonna keep going until I'll do all the mysteries or I die, whichever happens first. So, catch you next time, everybody. It's Firemac signing out.